Hi there, welcome back to Gadget Mad Lad. In this one, we're going to be doing an unboxing and teardown of the Mini Buddy Portable Speaker by Kit Sound. It's nothing great or anything, it's just, um, I'll give you one sec, let me try and get my stuff set up. But as always, not exactly the most prepared person in the world. Right, now this, my intention, I bought it for a tenner, uh, which is £9.99 off Amazon um, in the UK. Get some stuff together, right? So, macro, unrelated, but if you remember the previous video when I did the making the game by macro DSI dual speaker, or which one it was, uh, well, this is a macro, as you know. Is there juice in it? Yeah, there's juice in it. Right, so let's turn this up and see the maximum volume. I think that's full volume now, so press A, that should do the trick. Can you hear that? Really quiet. Uh, so let's go on to a game. Uh, ROMs, GBA, let's choose that one all day. It's got a, can you hear that? Ironically enough, this has actually got a race facing speaker and a little front facing speaker there. You cover that with your hand when you pretty much use it. Oh, press something up, I pressed. What oh, did I press that? Okay, weird. Um, right, so, let's move this to the side for now. And if that's what I'll do, I'll turn it off quickly. We'll unbox this and I'll show the sound difference when it's connected to that in regards to. What it, what it just sounded like then, obviously. Right, so break the seal on it, give me a little blade. So it's nothing uh, like fantastic, is anything, but I had one, uh, I got one free with a contract that I got a contract, a mobile phone, cell phone thing a few years back, and it was a little Red Devil version of this exact speaker. And at the time, phones weren't great for the sound, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So it made an actual massive difference in regards to the actual you know, sound of the phone itself. A nice bass and stuff. So in the box you get the little speaker. Uh, some of the little bits of plastic which I will save because I can always use that stuff. Not packaging it's wasted on me. So let's get that out. Alright, so this is, I'm guessing it's a charge cable of some kind. Yeah, micro USB charge cable. Nothing fantastic, right? Here's my theory before we crack it open. See a little speaker in there. I thought, as you already probably know, if you watch my stuff, you've got these like mods available already for the Game Boy and the DS and all the other things, you know, like uh, audio amps and stuff like that. I didn't look how much they were because this struck me as like a really interesting way of doing it. So I thought if I could take the innards of this out. I could somehow maybe cut a hole in the back of the DSi or the DS uh, macro and you know like here or something because I'm no doubt the speaker hole will be too you know too deep, deep or wide out of you call it I'm not too sure the actual measurements or whatever but I figured I have to cut a hole in the back of it maybe add some of the actual speaker itself you get me uh, we'll, I'll, I'll get to that anyway we'll, see, we'll get to the tear down because I don't know if it's possible or not it, it might not be I'm gonna try either way. I've got an original DS with a broken hinge, and that seems like the perfect candidate for this, to be honest with you. Right, so what have we got then? Let's turn me have a light on, so I can see what I'm working with. Yes, so we've got crosshead screws. I think I should do the trick, or is it too big? No, I think we're right at that. What I'll do, I'll just quickly remove the screws, and then I'll run you through what it's got on it. It's not Bluetooth or anything. It's an actual connected one, that's why it struck me as a good idea for the, you know, giving the macro like a massive sound boost. Because that's one of the, the major problems about the macro is it's really, really quiet. And in case you're wondering, in the next couple of videos that I do, I'm actually going to be, add, oh, it's depending on this teardown, 
whether it's going to be feasible or not is a different story but if it is my plan is to throw it inside a macro we'll make a macro and then throw it inside it I'm not going to do paint or anything I might do the filling of the bodywork but other than that all right so before I pull it open let's see what's on it so we've got the 5 volts DC charge port there we've got uh, I think that's a microphone maybe between there maybe not not 100% sure the on off switch we've got the aux in not too sure I think that's so you can link them together maybe that'd be pretty cool actually I haven't done it by testing it out so it's a battery in it oh right that's what it'll be an LED that so I've not actually got a charger <laughs> one second Darling, can you grab me the uh, micro USB charger, the pink one out of the bedroom? Yeah. So I got unprepared or what? How unprofessional am I? Just give me one second to grab this. So, thank you to my lovely assistant for my totally unpreparedness there. <laughs> oh, knocking the camera. Crap. So I've got a little basic charger here. These are charge cable already got connected to it. Pink one. Put that in a little block next to me. So we've got a little blue light indicating to show that it's on. And hopefully I'm not knocking these screws everywhere. Because I don't mind keeping them. In case I need them to throw it into it. Let's get the DSi macro. Let's plug this in. Let's turn it on. I really hope this works now because I've not even tested it yet. Yeah, little kind of. Whoa. Well, I think there's a noticeable difference straight away. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? That is so good. So let's go back to the same game. You heard it a minute ago. Well, I'll rephrase it. You struggled to hear a minute ago. Super Mario 4. Wow. Oh, that's a bit high. Let's turn it on a little bit. <laughs> turn it down, eh? Crazy. Let's have a little bit. I that's about the sweet spot. I can go put I think one one higher than this. That sounds great that doesn't it? Anyway. Let's get back to what we're doing. So can you see the reason why I was intrigued by it to because my plan was if I on the inside where this um audio jack thing connects to the board, I figured, do you know how you connect the speakers to a macro? If I sold the wires from that to where the speakers would connect, that would therefore give me a direct connection to it. If not that, then the actual headphone jack itself, you know, sold it to the inside of it. I, uh, <laughs> I'm getting carried away myself. <laughs> this truck is a really good idea, and this hopefully is a lot. Usually, when I test plastic things down, they're a fraction of the size of what they actually are. You get me? And I'm hoping that's the case with this. So let's find out. So it's looking good. And if you're wondering how would a charge, uh, what I'd have to do, I'd have to set this to always be on, you know, the switch, because obviously I won't be able to get to that again. I'd stick this where the cartridge slot would be. Um, I'd probably desolder this as well, because I'm not going to need that. I'm sorry to say it makes it a bit flatter. And the battery and stuff, I'm hoping there'll be enough space in there for that. And what I could do, I could wire the micro USB port to the charge port. <sighs> that... Uh, I'm getting carried away, obviously. I'm getting a bit giddy because it looks like it's possibly going to work as well. And so we've got a blob of glue here holding that in place. That's nothing major for me. I can get past that. Uh, wires, battery. This looks like it's totally going to work as well. Oh, that's fantastic, that. I like it when a plan comes together. Especially with that quality of that inc volume increase there, you get me? My theory is this, maybe I, if I, because I've got some slightly high, uh, different shaped speakers that are a little bit smaller than the sit shape of this one. I was wondering if I could solder them to the board and, you know, use them instead. Or one of them, maybe. 
Obviously, like I said, that'll be a future video. So tune in for that one. So let's see what we've got here then. That actually looks horribly swollen, but I think that's just the way they're meant to look. <laughs> it's just stuck down a little rubber thing. Get out breaking it. Don't combust, please. Don't combust. Because that'll be crap right about now. That looks really swollen. Uh, what I'm going to do, because obviously I'm not trusting this battery 100%. So, I've actually got a better one than this, I think. So, I'll cut the red first. And I'll cut the black. That way, it makes it a little bit more safe. So, we can look at it now without it exploding in my face, hopefully. So, 3.37 volts, 180 milliamps. And it's pretty goddamn tiny, but I've got a battery that would be perfect to replace that with. And that is the, um, remember the Zanko, the world's smallest phone that I did. That essentially, the battery that I had from the one that I couldn't repair. That'd be a perfect replacement. And here we have the speaker, which I think actually might be welded in place unless I'm prepared to use like the plastic, like I said. Not necessarily sure that's going to be feasible to use this, but it could be doable. It's not impossible. Hmm. Curious. Right, anyway, so this is the insides of it. Let's get a bit of glue off, see if that makes a difference of any kind. I'll come off you. Don't pull anything up the process. We don't want that. There we go. So we'll get that nasty snap glob out of the way. Alright, so here we've got a nice little the power switch. I could actually use that for something else as well. Oh, actually. And I think I have to stay on there, won't it? Because obviously it won't stay on otherwise unless I bridge two things on it, the parts that connect when it's on. I suppose I could do that. It's not, that's not impossible. We need to make it as flat as possible, don't we? So but we lose that, lose that. Again, that'll be a future video though. I'm gonna get carried away again, aren't I? Right, so here, we, what we've got, we've got this, right? So, for the battery, for it to run, is these positive and negative there. I could try wiring that directly into the actual battery itself, and, but I think that'll probably kill it a bit quicker. And there we've got a speaker, connector, speaker plus speaker minus, like I was saying, any speaker. That little lanyard thing, let's lose that, because that's a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very looking forward to where this could go. Come on, there we go. So that's come off now, I can go out of the way. Still might actually be able to use up something. <clears throat> right, so we've got, uh, I think it claimed it was two watts on the Amazon listing. I did actually like the, the cover for that, but I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna be able to get that out without damaging it, because it's not exactly a little bit of glue stuck in there, you get me? It's, welded in there from the looks of it, but that's not a big deal. Like I said, I've got other battery, other speakers anyway that I could use. But this is like a nice little lamp fire board. Someone's telling me this might be a good... I, don't, I, I, I depend on how much damp fire mod is for like the Game Boy and stuff like that, this might be a good alternative. I can't obviously speak for its reliability and stuff, other than the one I had lasted us at least a year and a half minimum before I think I lost it in the end. I think that's how it, how it disappeared. I see some things there. See the unpopulated things where the fuses and resistors are. I wonder if I added, like I say, a certain resistor or a certain capacitor, would it increase the volume or sound quality maybe? Hmm, curious. That's what that's been it. I hope, so. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that's the insides of the kit sound, was it? The sound buddy or something? Yeah, what's it called? That was the teardown of the Kit Sound Mini Buddy portable speaker. Not Bluetooth. Wired. And battery powered. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. And tune in soon if you want to see what I plan to do with this. Because i got some plans. Oh, have I got some plans. Uh, bye bye. And I'll see you next time. Bye.